Good morning, gang. Welcome to another vlog. Today's is going to be a little bit different because James and I are actually going to be decorating the flat for autumn. So switching out some of the decor, putting in all of the autumn pieces we already have. We're also going to do a quick trip to HomeSense and see if there's any bits that we can get to put anywhere. Might also try Next because I know Next for autumn stuff is always so good. Um, but we're going to try and give the flat a little, a little zhuzh up before the autumn season. And we are doing it a little bit early, but I just feel like the box is there. I want to get it out. I just want to make it look really nice so that when we come back off our holiday, it looks beautiful and decorated. So yeah, we're going to head off to the shops now and see what we can get our hands on. And then I'll give you a mini haul when we get back. I'll give you a little sneak peek of what there is in my local home sense. Obviously every home sense is a bit different, but they all sometimes have like similar bits. So worth noting but I do find with home sense that you have to get in there early like you have to do it in August when you don't think that it's ready for autumn yet because otherwise everything sells out so gonna pop there and then come back and decorate gone for the autumnal vibes so I've just chucked on leggings and a t-shirt because I want to be comfy and then I've popped on this shirt from last year um this is actually a misguided one so obviously not available anymore but I'll link as similar as I can find but it's just a really nice like flannel it, well it's not flannel it's like brushed cotton it's really soft the inside I have to admit isn't the softest but the outside's quite nice and then converse so i feel a bit autumnal and i'm ready to go and shop for autumnal things <laughs> James would let me, I would absolutely be coming home with these. Or like these ones. Fun fact, I tried to come home with one of these and James said no. How much actually are they? 60 quid. No, thank you. <laughs> this is really cute. This is only 14 pounds. If it matched my living room, I'd buy it. There's literally like no Halloween stuff. The only thing we have so far is a ghost and a pumpkin cookie cutter. But I did buy some bits the other day, so I'll show you that when I get home because there is some more stuff, but we're gonna see if there's anything upstairs. But I, I don't know, we're gonna go to Next, I think, and see, because Next always has really good Halloween stuff. And it's more likely that we'll find stuff. Oh my God, look at this sofa. <gasps> I actually love this, this is so nice. That thing the kid is sitting on, me and James actually did want. We actually thought about getting to the end of our bed. Um, but obviously we never did, but it's really, really nice. So, no, if it's still there, we'll see how much it is again. I can't remember how much it was, but I do think it'd be nice at the end of the bed. Right, what do we want up here? A little hint, always buy your syrups here because these syrups are so much more cheap than anywhere else. They're like five pounds for the whole big one. And me and James go through these quite quickly. So I'm gonna get a couple, I think. Potentially this one, this one's like white chocolate pumpkin, which I think would be quite nice. But they have loads. There's like all different ones. They're really good for Christmas ones as well if you come at that time of year. But there's loads. I did just pick up actually this one, um, which is vanilla bean pumpkin. And then we got some of this because it just looked really cool shaped. Um, and it's like two pounds or something. But we don't eat pasta that often, so when we do it, it's a bit of a treat. So I thought I'd get some nice one. This cookie cutter is cute, but only if you could make them actually look like the things. Otherwise, it's a bit annoying. But they've got really cute little like jars that I like. Okay, so next have these ones. I've already got this one. I do want that, but I feel like that's a bit excessive. But how cute, they've got like little teapots and then they've got little ramekins and stuff and all the candles. And then I actually wanted these last year, but they'd sold out, but they have them back again and they're so cute. And then there's like little ghost glasses. Oh, there's so many things. Oh my God, there's so many things. They've got hand towels for the bathroom. Okay, we've just got back, so I thought I'd show you everything that we've got. There's one bag from Next, which I'll do first, because this is only a small thing, or two small things, shall I say. And the rest is from HomeSense, which I'll be honest, we didn't really get much today because HomeSense today didn't seem to have that much good stuff. Like, it was a bit bare. The Halloween section and like 
the autumn section was very small, which I'm a bit disappointed by because normally they're amazing in like August, early September, and then they get a bit crap as it gets into like actual autumn. So I expected a lot more, but yeah, it just wasn't, it wasn't the best. So I picked up a few bits, but this is what I got in next, which was two things I wanted last year, but they didn't have them last year. They'd sold out literally everywhere and I was so upset because I really wanted them. And they bought them back and I'm really grateful. And it's these little mugs, which just have like pumpkins all over them and they say hello pumpkin on the inside and these were eight pounds each but very cute little mugs perfect size i quite like that they're like little so we've got two of those and then i have two other ones which i'll show you in a minute that i got from home sense from home sense i did get a big bag of stuff the other day which i'll show you first and then i'll show you those oh hang on i did get this in the range a couple of weeks ago it was like a random little purchase, just as Hello Autumn, that I thought would be cute somewhere. I'm not normally a fan of like signs with like words on, but I thought that was quite cute because it's just like quite minimal. I was thinking maybe hanging it off like some, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing with it. I got these little tea towels, which were £10.99, which is kind of expensive for a tea towel set, but they look quite nice. Oh, it says hand towels, but they are kind of tea towels, but they look quite nice. They're just pumpkin-y and they'll match the decor with the rest of the house and obviously where I've got like a living room kitchen I like it all to mix and match together I also got this which I didn't realize was light up but it is light up so there is a light inside I think I'm probably going to pull that off to be honest like I can pull that bit off anyway because that's just the try me thing but I don't know if we'll ever really use the light up function of it but it's good to know it's there this one was 11.99 and I just thought they'd be cute stood either on here somewhere or like in the hallway or something, just as a little bit of colour. Two candles, I limited myself because we got the autumn box out from last year and realised there is still a few candles in there. So the first one was this one, which I thought was quite handy because it comes with a little pumpkin on top so we can reuse that. But this one was £20 and it smells amazing. So this is pumpkin butter, very, very gorgeous smell. And it's from DW Home, which is a really good one if you are in home sense, they do the most amazing smelling candles. This one is also DW Home and this one was pumpkin spice. But I quite liked that this could be used again because it doesn't look like a candle jar. So like I could use this jar in the kitchen or something for or just as like a display somewhere, you know, just as a something or as a little vase for like some mini, some mini like pampas or something. But this one was £10. And then the last two things in the bag before I show you the other bits is the two little mugs. There's no point me wrapping this all back up again. I might as well get it out. These are the mugs. So these were £4.99 each and they just say, hey boo. And they've got a little ghost here and they're just orange inside but i thought they were quite a good selection for autumn mugs and then this one's exactly the same but they were just really cute and they had quite a good selection which you saw earlier so they were the ones that we picked just because they look the most minimal and like cutesy then i also got some pasta which is just like autumn leaves it looks like little bits of wheat that was because James really fancied a bolognese or a pasta dish for dinner. So we thought that was quite a nice one. And it looks nice. So if I have it out in a jar, it just looks really nice. We got these for 3 99 which are just cookie cutters. So there's two ghost ones and two pumpkins. Because I do have... Can you see it up here? Oh, I took it down. I don't know where I put it. I've got a ghost-shaped cookie jar, which was from Next last year. So we thought we'd get some cookie bits so that we can make some little biscuits and stuff to fill the jar with, because I love gingerbread. We make a lot of gingerbread when it comes to that time of the year. And then the last thing we got was two syrups. So I've got the white chocolate pumpkin and vanilla bean pumpkin, which were £4.49 each. And these last us so long because we pop them in our coffees. But yeah, that's all the little bits I got. I'm going to go get the box of other autumn stuff and we're going to start autumning up the living room in the house. I can't actually remember a lot of what's in there. I need to have a little look. <laughs>
so we've got all the cookie cutters back out for autumn we've got some autumn leaves which came in a little pack from amazon i think i can't remember 100 percent, but i'll try and link them if i can find them then i've got the big and small ghost and pumpkins that we just bought which are a really good size actually these are nice little bite sized ones and you've obviously got the bigger ones here as well and we're going to be using these for gingerbread in a few weeks time not going to do it yet it's too soon yet but they're going to go in here eventually and this is from next it's a very very cute little ghosty cookie jar and then i've popped this little sign up here which is very cute and then we've just got my little pumpkin casserole dish here ready for some mac and cheese i've also had a rearrange of the shelves i didn't know what to do with them and it's really difficult because we haven't got enough decor to make them look really really good so i've just done what i could whether things get bought who knows but i'm going to try not to get too much more because i don't want to overload the autumn stuff until we buy a house and then that will be the house that we obviously then just decorate all the time um and i don't want to buy for the sake of buying i want to only buy when it's stuff that's like really really nice and fits the aesthetic and the decor that we've got so this is what i've currently gone with so up the top we've just got some candles and an incense tray so that's like a really good tray for my incense two candles from home sense one's from last year one's from this year got a little plant there from that's actually from primark a couple of years ago as well and then on this shelf we've got the light up pumpkins that i'm obviously not lighting up at the moment another candle from last year and these little matchsticks which i thought looked really cute and fit to the decor and then this is a little tray from i have no idea where with the little pumpkins that i got from amazon last year so they came in a big pack with these ones these ones and some orange ones but i just thought it was a cute little addition to have little pumpkins in a tray um, and then I've put the orange ones and the excess ones just in here with the pine cones, which we picked up in the woods last year, alongside some of the candles as well. So this little tray is from a place called Sunday Living. And I just, I don't know, I think this is a really good little autumn table decor. Like it just looks really cute and cosy, especially when we have all the candles lit. It looks amazing. Down here, these pumpkins are from Sunday Living as well. So is this wreath. I don't know if they still do it because it's a very small independent business, but if they do, I'll leave the code and stuff down below. They might have them, if not, they might have other stuff. So they're up there and then i mean ignore the random stuff that i've just dumped on the side and then i've popped one little white pumpkin there so this has kind of stayed as the decor it was because it's very in keeping with everything else but i thought one little pumpkin would be cute and then obviously that's that side done annoyingly the garland isn't long enough to go the whole way but i kind of like that it stops into the white bits as well and then the only thing left to do is swap out the flowers in here for the flowers in the office so i do typically keep the flowers on the table as these little fake ones here from ikea but when it gets to this time of year i swap them out for the sunflowers because the colors just fit more with the room so these just get popped in the office which doesn't get decorated at all and the other ones come in here 